Investigators are trying to determine what caused a plane carrying a Brazilian soccer team to crash in Colombia. Only six people survived out of the 81 people on board. A distress call sent by the plane mentioned an electrical failure and a flight attendant reported the plane may have run out of fuel. The crash shocking the international soccer community. They were traveling to face a Colombian team for a continental tournament. The team's Twitter feed sharing this video of them celebrating their birth into the tournament. Officials now vowing to do everything they can for the crash survivors and their families. Locally, soccer teams are feeling the pain too. A De Pere soccer coach especially impacted by the tragedy after he played professional soccer in Brazil. NBC 26's Raquel Amel brings us that NBC 26 exclusive story. Some are calling this a tragic end to a Cinderella story in the making. Derek Rhodes is the general manager at the Sports Emporium in De Pere. He also coaches men's soccer at St. Norbert College, but before that, he played professional soccer in Brazil. He says he didn't play directly against Chapecoense, the team killed in the crash, because they're in Division IV at the time, and he played on Division III team. But the Chapecoense team quickly climbed up the ranks, heading to Colombia for the Copa Sudamerica tournament final as a Division I professional Brazilian soccer team when that plane went down. Copa Sudamerica is the Second largest, um, the second largest intercontinental competition in South America, uh, similar to in Europe, the Europa League. Um, and this was the first time their club had ever reached the final there. Rhodes says there is currently a petition by Atletico Nacional, the Colombian team who was supposed to play against Chapaquense, to award the title of the Copa Sudamerica tournament to the team killed in the crash. To put this in perspective, the city of Chapaco is roughly 209,000 people. That's a lot like the size of the Green Bay area, making the magnitude of this tragedy similar to if it would have happened to the Green Bay Packers. Raquel Lamel, NBC 26.